Hey everyone, Tim here with Divi Life. Thank you so much for watching this video. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do some really cool animated image hover effects with captions, as you can see here. This is what we're gonna be creating. Now, I've posted in the, the blog post here uh, a couple of additional resources that you can find at the bottom of the post here. Um, basically, there's already existing some really great resources in the Divi community from some friends of mine, such as Michelle from Divi Soup and, and Gino Kiros. Um, and they have tutorials that do some similar things, as well as a plugin by Terry Hale that's sold over at Elegant Child Themes. And so all these, these resources here show you how to do similar things, creating hover effects on images, and Michelle's even have captions as well, which are really cool. And so um, I don't want to take any thunder from them, so that's why I've, I've included their posts in this blog post here. Um, but the reason why I'm doing my tutorial is I actually got a lot of requests. I built a website using Divi, of course. Um, the website's called mendocinofarms.com. It's a sandwich shop based out of Southern California. They have about 12, 13 locations now and growing. And uh, when I built the site, I built a, um, a couple of really cool things into the, the website that are a little bit outside of the, the typical Divi features that are included um, out of the box, you could say, with Divi. And so I had a lot of people asking me how I did certain things, including these animated image hover effects with the captions, as you can see here. And then recently, over on the Elegant Themes blog for their Divi 100 series, this website was featured. And so it got a lot of traffic, a lot of people were asking in the Divi groups, as well as in the, on the, the blog post uh, comments, um, how I did certain things. And so this was highly requested. People wanted to know how I was able to do this and so uh, this tutorial is to show you how to do exactly that. I've changed out the images and text just so um, I'm not giving you a, a client's content. Um, and these are free images I got off of um, Unsplash, I believe. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and, and dive right in here. So you can follow along in the blog post. I'm gonna be showing you exactly what we're doing step by step. So the first step to create this is to, of course, have a page, create a section with the row, and then we're gonna be doing one-third, one-third columns, as it says here. So I have a, go ahead and create new page. If you already have an existing page, obviously you would skip this step if you are planning on putting these um, image features with the hover effects onto your existing page. You can go ahead and just add a new section. I'll go uh, test page. Of course, I will be using the Divi Builder. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click insert columns. We wanna do one third, one third, one third. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the code module. So I'm not gonna put any code in here yet. I'm just gonna duplicate these out here. All right, so now I have the, the structure in terms of, of Divi. Now I'm gonna put some content inside of it. So the basic framework for uh, this tutorial is it's some HTML with some a uh, couple of images and then some CSS to, to format it and, and do the animation. So um, let's go ahead and start here. So I, I give you the HTML exactly how it is in, in my demo site here. Um, but then at the end, I'm gonna show you what you need to change to actually sync up the images and, and change the text and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and Start pasting this in here. All right, open this guy up. Come back here to the blog post and copy in column two. All right, copy column three HTML and paste that in there like so. And then come back here. Now we can see the next step is to copy and paste the CSS. All right, so I'm just gonna drag this all the way down. It's kind of a lot, I apologize. It extends the length of the blog post vertically quite a bit. Copy this here. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it into, copy the, the CSS and paste it into the, the page settings custom CSS. Now you can paste the CSS inside the Divi theme options area just in case you've never done this before, the theme options custom CSS box, you can paste it there. Um, basically the difference is 
between these two is this is only going to run the CSS on this page since we're only using this uh, code and these animations on this page alone. That's okay uh, if you're going to be using them multiple places um, and just switching out the, the content, then um, you can go ahead and paste it into the, the Divi theme options. And then, of course, the alternate solution is to put it in your style.css document inside your child theme. Not in the main Divi theme. It has to be inside a child theme. Otherwise, that will be overwritten when Divi has its next update. So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish here. And now we're going to view it, but you're going to see here when I view it, it's going to, you're going to see the basic skeleton of what the, uh, those image, images are supposed to look like, but the images are going to be missing. That's because we haven't downloaded them yet. So you see the little question mark that Safari displays when an image is missing. So uh, now we need to actually download the images and sync them up. So um, step four, as you can see here, is to download the image.zip folder and unzip it. So go ahead and download that. Whoops. All right, here. So these are the, the images. So they're the images that you actually see that I downloaded from Unsplash. Um, you can, of course, skip uploading those and just upload your own images. Um, but then these are the lines and the outline. So I'm going to go back to the demo here. So the lines that go above the title there and then the outline that goes around when you hover, the hover outline. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to here Oops. and go to the media library. And I'm just going to upload. Actually, I already have these uploaded, so I'm going to skip this step. But what you would do is you'd go in here and you would just upload, drag and drop those into the media library. And then what we need to do is we need to get the URL. So click on it from the media library and then see where that URL is. You're just going to select all of that and copy it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and open. It helps to have it in a separate tab. So Oops. OK. So it's good to have the media library and the, the page that you're creating in two separate tabs. So when you copy that URL, you can just paste it in and you don't have to. Uh, you can keep the page open and save your place. So um, the image that I just copied was this first image here, right? And so I know the HTML is a little jumbled. That's uh, what the code module does is it kind of squishes everything together, um, which can be a little bit tedious when you're trying to uh, read through and figure out what's what. But uh, just pay close attention. You'll be able to, to figure it out pretty easily. So the first image is that background image. So image source, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in there. All right. Now, I'm not going to hit save and close out of it quite yet because I'm going to go ahead and do the other images as well. So I'm going to go back to the media library. Now, you can see here I wrote what's what. Um, the first image in the HTML is the feature image, then the lines, then the hover outline. So we want to do the lines next. I'm going to go back to the media library here. These are the lines that go over the title. So I'm going to copy that. And then find the next. That's the one we just did. Now we need to find the next HTML image source to place over. And you can actually look and see the title lines. Um, it's just these are uh, not the right file paths to what you just uploaded. It's, you can see July. This is uploaded in July, so that's not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click paste. All right. And then the last one on there is um, the outline. So that's the third one we need to do. So I'm going to go back here to the media library and find. Let's see, where did it go? Here's the outline. OK, it's, you can't really see it because it's white. But copy that. Come back over to the page and find that last image source for the outline. There it is right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste over that and hit Save. 
Now I'm gonna do this three more times. So I'm gonna do a little bit quicker now, now that you see me do it once. So I'm gonna find the next image here. Copy and paste over the source. All right, now I'm gonna grab the lines. Now I'm gonna grab the outline. Hit save. Now do this for the third column module here. Grab that last image. And of course, if you're using different images, you would use your own instead of the, the ones that I, I provided in the uh, download zip folder. Almost there, just one more image to copy and paste. Outline, go back here. And I had trouble finding it, there it is. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Update. And I'm gonna open this up in its new tab again. And now, as you can see, we have the hover effects just like on the Mendocino Farms website. So uh, obviously you, you're probably not gonna keep these same exact titles. You're not gonna use the random gibberish uh, sample text that I have on here, and you're probably not gonna have it linked to the same thing either. So um, to change that, you just have to edit the HTML. And so just as we did sw swapping out the images, you're gonna do the same thing. So again, I apologize that the, the code's a little bit jumbled there. It's just what happens in the code module. And so you can change the H4 to change that to whatever you want. Um, and then uh, let's see, to change the link, you want to change the text that is, let's see, where did it go? Oh, right here at the very beginning. So the, the link you can change to to have it go to whatever page you want. Uh, for example, if you were going to send this link to google.com, you just type that in there like so. And that is what you do. So this right here is the text, the paragraph text for the description. So it helps to have them all uh, similar length so that everything looks even and it's lined up. Um, so it might be good for you to type that out ahead of time and make sure they're approximately the same length. So that is it for the tutorial. As I mentioned in uh, the beginning of this video, uh, that there's some additional resources um, for you to check out that do some similar things. Uh, Michelle has some great articles um, on Divi Soup. Um, in addition to these, she has a lot of other, uh, she calls them Divi recipes uh, that you can find there. There's a uh, hover animation effect from Gino that shows you how to add really cool shadow hovers um, for any module. Uh, so it's a little bit different, but, but still kind of along the same lines. And then if you want to add image hover effects with captions, similar to what we did, um, really great plugin over at Elegant Child Themes by a friend of mine, Terry Hale, that shows you, um, I'm sorry, that allows you to um, have, the, the plugin adds a custom module to the Divi Builder um, with a bunch of different choices. So you can go over there. Uh, click on that link and then it'll show you uh, the demonstration and, and how it works. They have a really cool demo site as well. Um, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. This is the first tutorial of DiviLife.com, uh, my brand new website uh, for my Divi products and, and Divi tutorials. So uh, this post in particular is going to be a part of a series where I show you how to do different things that I achieved on this website. Um, we'll be looking at how to do a fixed footer using Divi um, and doing a couple other additional things as well. Um, all right, that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.